hello guys so for today's vlog we will be going on top of this radar and we will replace the magnetron so come and join me in this new learning of course again our first step is to switch off the radar and then we need to isolate the power completely for its operating unit so hello guys so we're going to change the magnetron of this x-band radar so we will climb up onto this one and come on let's see how to replace the magnetron permit to work and proper ppe should be observed while doing this job and the first thing that i did to our scanner is to switch off the antenna motor switch shout out to 37,500 youtube subscriber and thank you for supporting this channel and then the next thing that we need to do is to remove all of these four bolts be careful in opening the back cover as the performance monitoring circuit is located into this cover after removing the performance cable it is now time to remove the high voltage cable this is the orange cable and then one of the circuit cable which is the red and brown color after that we also need to remove the ventilation cables which is this red and blue color after that we also need to remove the coaxial cable which is located onto the upper left just be careful when removing this one as you might bend it once you are detaching it and then after removing the coaxial cable it is now time to remove the last cable which is this ribbon cable put an extra care in removing this one and remember the orientation of this one so that you will not have a problem once you want to put it back and then we have two uh, locking bolts onto the side so just remove these two locking bolts and after that we are ready to remove the whole panel hello guys so we were able to remove this one and we will replace the magnetron magnetron is inside and we need to do soldering so that's why i bring it to my workshop and let's change this magnetron and see if our radar will be okay after that so there are six locking screw onto the side of this cover and this is the magnetron of our x-band radar good thing that we have a magnetron on board and put an extra care onto handling this one and do not put it on top of the old magnetron or onto any metallic surface so we desolder our my old magnetron and then we just need to dismantle it set it aside and then we can install the new magnetron Please take note that the cable of this magnetron should not be touching any metal surface of the cover because this will affect the performance of our radar. As you can see onto the instruction, it is already written onto this side. So we just need to cut the cables and then we need to solder it onto the transformer. Of course, with the proper cable orientation or connections. I have a not so good soldering iron but I managed to solder our magnetron onto our transformer. Just make sure that the cables will be in place on the whole of the connectors. There is no way that it will be removed or it will be soldered properly. And then secure it or fasten it properly just like what I have said. It is a must that the lead wire of this magnetron should not be touching any metallic part of our body. So after double checking everything, it is now time to put back the cover 
and we are gonna install this back into our antenna before putting back our magnetron i took the liberty of checking the gears and the electrical motor and so far everything is in good condition and after that i managed to put back our magnetron and we will just follow the reverse order of what we did in removing our magnetron so this is the condition of our C when I am installing this uh, magnetron. I carefully installed the ribbon cable and then I managed to install back the coaxial cable. After installing the coaxial cable, it is now time to install back our ventilation fan cables. And then after the ventilation fan cables, one of the circuit cable which is located onto the right side. Just follow the orientation of the cables, especially the locking system. And then after that one, we need to install back the high voltage cable, which is this orange one. By the way, you can measure around 500 volts onto this cable. That is why it is important to isolate the system before touching anything onto this scanner. So just put all the harnesses that is required especially for this cable because it is a high voltage cable and after that it is now ready to put back the cover with the ribbon cable also and after putting back all the securing bolts it is now ready to seal it properly with our silicone after ensuring everything is properly sealed then I switch back on the antenna motor switch. After that, I proceeded to the power station and switch back on the processing unit. Knowing the locations of your control panels and distribution boards is very important as this will reduce the amount of time you will be fixing any trouble on board. And after switching on all the uh, necessary breakers it is now time to switch back on our radar there is a specific instructions needed before switching it back on you need to put our system on standby for 30 minutes so we waited for 30 minutes to put it on standby and then we proceeded to the next step which is to do a standby and transmit mode for five times so together with me is the third officer and our ordinary seaman and after doing five times or more than five times of transmit and standby operation we actually let the system to run in a transmit mode and this will last again for 30 minutes before proceeding to the next step after 30 minutes it is our second officer who was already on duty when we did this tuning or the tune initialize command onto our system. This will only take a couple of minutes, like one minute or two. And then after that, we need to reset the running hour of our expand radar. Resetting the running hours is a must because we have a specific running hours for a certain magnetron before we will replace them. So just follow the instruction written in the manual in case you missed out the resetting of this magnetron running hours. I'm so glad because this second officer is also well experienced with this kind of radar. So he knows what he's doing and he knows how to do the resetting of these running hours and do the tuning and the performance monitoring test. After doing all or carrying out all of these tests, unfortunately, we do not have a target during this time. So I waited for some time before we can have a target outside. And then I visited the bridge on the night time because I can see some vessel passing nearby. So just to see if the um, magnetron is working properly. The main reason why we replace this magnetron is because the old magnetron cannot pick up target, especially small vessel. 
so it is not safe or it is very difficult for the navigators to do their duties especially in a traffic area where we have a lot of fishing boats so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you